We're here with Simon Duke, Managing Director of Fishbowl Inventory Australia. Simon, there's a couple of versions of Fishbowl, F Fishbowl Warehouse and Fishbowl Manufacturing. Fishbowl Warehouse, what are the typical clients and what's the solution solving? What's the challenge that the solution's actually solving? Yeah, Clayton, um, I guess why we have the warehousing edition is, well, quite clearly not everyone's a manufacturer. So we have a, a lower priced edition of Fishbowl, which takes out the manufacturing functionality. Um, so I guess it's really targeted towards businesses that buy, sell products. Um, whether that be uh, single location uh, or multi-location. So I guess the biggest thing that um, a lot of businesses that come to us that are a warehousing type uh, environment are really looking for a couple of things typically. They're either looking for something like multi-location, which the, most of the accounting packages in the, in the smaller business market don't cater for, or they need more advanced, either very large inventory lists or maybe a lot of special pricing for customers because they've got unique pricing by customer. Um, so anyone that's kind of in that space, um, Fishbowl kind of ticks those boxes. Um, and it really then drills down into managing the workflow of the business. So what you'll often see with a customer that comes to us is they've been doing something like uh, when an order comes in from a customer, they'll go straight to an invoice. Uh, that invoice gets printed, it goes out the back to the warehouse for picking, and the, the store person is really picking off the invoice. But then you run into workflow scenarios where uh, you know, not everything's pickable. You know, there's a stock shortage and they can't fulfill the entire invoice. So then you end up with this manual process of the back order being highlighted with a highlighter and stuck on a clipboard, which you see everywhere. Um, and then the invoice has to go back into the office and the admin staff have to change that invoice uh, because they couldn't fulfill all of it. And we don't want to invoice our customer for a stock that we're not getting. Um, where Fishbowl kind of takes all that away. So with Fishbowl, everything starts as a sales order and that sales order goes through a picking and a shipping process. And if you don't pick all the order, that's okay. And you only ship what you actually ship, and uh, that's what the invoice is that goes through to the accounting system. And the remainder of that sales order then sits in the picking screen uh, waiting to be picked and uh, shows as a back order. Um, also the receiving process, it really tightens that up. So from a receiving point of view, you have the ability to receive uh, with a receiving list, um, or maybe if you have Fishbowl Go, uh, receive by scanning, which we talk about in another video. Um, and then right back to the special pricing. So um, whether that be based on groups of customers or the territory that they're in, or on certain ranges of products have different margins, um, Fishbowl has a module called pricing rules, uh, which really drills down into that to a really finite level. So you can not have a sp manual spreadsheet with all your pricing in it for your customers. So your sales guys can literally key in an order um, and the pricing that comes up on the order is going to be correct rather than having to refer back to a price book. And I guess some of the other main things that we see when we're moving into a warehousing client. So there's a lot of options there for um, warehousing and distribution type businesses. How would we find out more about? Yeah, look, if you want to discuss what your business needs are and, and whether Fishbowl is going to be a good fit, just call our office on 1300 785 755 and uh, speak to one of the team. Great.